we sign a contract at the start of every year. It's like a list of rules saying that I will not, I will not, I will not. No drinking, no drugs, no sex. We do things a little bit differently oh. here. I just don't want to pour my whole heart out right off the bat. No, guard your heart, but yeah. like tell me everything, but like guard it. I've never had a girlfriend my entire life. Everyone around here is trying to find their spouse. This is like a marriage hunting ground. You don't want to miss out on what this campus has to offer. And the atmosphere is like a giant utopia. This, this whole box. thing is embarrassing. Why did I even agree to this? How'd that small group thing go? I'm still getting to know them. I don't know everyone yeah. yet, but it sounds cool. Did you meet anyone like that you really like, like that stuck out to you? Well, actually, I was, remember how you asked me if there are guys in my small group? Yeah. I was thinking I would set you up. Just on like a little blind date, like no pressure. <laughs> you do. I have not gone on many dates. I think a lot of it is because I'm super, super picky. I wrote a list of what um, I want my future wife when I was 10 years old, and I keep it on my wallet. Jeez. We don't really need to go over the physical things, do we? <laughs> oh, God. Well, OK, he is having a hard time finding a date for anything. And I think you would think he's really cute. Wait, why is he having a hard time finding a date? Well, he's just really picky. Oh, I was like, is he no. weird? No. <laughs> no. He's cool. He's really cool. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. I like, I like nice teeth. Girls that have nice white teeth. I like hygiene. Fits well in jeans. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Um, likes the outdoors. Be mature in her faith. Smart. Be beautiful with no makeup. Every guy can agree with that. Has a plus mom, because that's what they're gonna. I mean, she's not just sexy, but she's beautiful. Yeah. Um, how do I find a girl like that? That's probably the reason why I've been on two dates, really, in my life. Don't put pressure on me. Right I just now. want you to say yes, please. I don't want. Okay, you're doing it. I've decided for you. You would regret not doing it, and I'd be mad at you. I'm trusting you. Don't worry, you'll be happy. So as her older sister, I just want her to have high standards for herself, and I know Rob's like. He's a solid guy, and I don't know if she's attracted to that kind of guy or not, but I just wanted to show her that, like, good guys can be, like, fun, too. Hello, Rob. Hey, Tony. Guess where I just got back from? Oh... Uh... The cafeteria? Uh, wrong. I just got done talking to Taylor, and she thought it would be a great idea if I made her a tattoo. For where? For her back. Is she actually going to get a permanent tattoo on her back? What I draw right here, right now, will last forever on another human being. Why does she uh, trust you with that? Much? I don't know. I questioned that myself, but I'm honored. Well, she's going to be like 80, and she'll be in a nursing home. She's going to have to explain what the heck is on her back. Yeah, and it's going to be a beautiful story with a beautiful tattoo. All right, okay. Um, so envision this, all right? We're going to have some sunflowers in the background. And we're going to have the shape of the world on, on top of that. OK. And some verse like Psalms 30 Five on it. That's all I have right now in my mind. Can she get a temporary tattoo? No, Robert, get out of town. Like, this is can, permanent. She wants a permanent one. Can she get the type of tattoo that washes off, you know, after you take a shower? Temporary tattoos are for kids. We're in the adult world. Things are permanent. We need to learn that life lesson. A
<laughs> Drain it. Step. This is my shot. Is it like 10, 12, 3? It's 12, 3. Long. Oh, man. Falling behind. I had an uh, interesting conversation with Cassie oh, yesterday. <laughs> I, I hear you got yourself a date, you man. Yesterday. That's exciting. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. You no, know, like, are you apprehensive? I don't know, dude. I'm not sure. I don't know. I just, like, I mean, it's cool. Like, I'm glad she, like, wants to. I don't know. She thinks she has someone that I like to go out with and stuff. But I don't know. Is it a Biola girl? Is that why I like? Dude, I have no idea. If it's a Biola girl, like, then that just. I feel like Ooh. they just. There you go. I feel like it just, like, builds up the, the whole ring by spring. And it's like, I don't know. It just, like, gets to become a lot. I don't know. And maybe I'm just, like, maybe it's just me. I'm just, like, too. I just, like, overthink it. I think like, you should maybe, do it, man. You think so? I don't think you've got anything to lose in it. Like, she's gonna set you up with someone she thinks yeah. you get along with. And I'm sure she'll be true. cute as well, so like, that's always a win. Okay, how about this? You make this shot, I'll give it a shot. <sighs> it's huge. I can block it though. This is for, this is for Grishel. Should be a three-point shot. All right. I hit this three. Hit this three. You yeah. go on the date. No questions asked. What if the date is Cassie herself? What if she set you up on a, on a blind date with herself? She wouldn't do that, would she? I don't know, man. No, she wouldn't You're a good-looking guy. Yeah. I'd set myself up on a blind date with you. There it is. Gonna hit one. Woo! Have fun on the date. With my own two hands, I will build a city just for you. Hey, Tony. Hey, Taylor. How are you? I am doing great. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. So what do you have for me? So basically, you said you wanted to work on something, like you wanted some sort of national level or like idea on there. So what I have right now is the world map, because what's more national than the world? And I have a compass, because you said you were wanting something like a compass on there. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of idea um, of having banners stretching across the continents. I gave the responsibility of marking up my body to a freshman. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what he was thinking was gonna go back there. I love the nations, but yeah, I wasn't about to mark up my whole back. So you really took all my ideas and put them in like one thing, Yeah, huh? it's basically. <laughs> pumped into one thing. I definitely did not feel qualified for this. I am at best an amateur artist. I came across a couple ideas and I wanted to show you and I think I'm pretty I think I'm pretty set on this. So maybe you could like manipulate this okay, a little so bit. We're gonna put this over here now. <laughs> Cause you have a new idea and we're gonna open up a new blank page. Yeah. All right. Tattooing like, is, is definitely that... not accepted in my family. To design a tattoo would basically mean I'm aiding other people and being rebels. I probably won't tell my parents about this. I, I couldn't imagine anything good coming out of that. for my blind date because I'm scared that the conversation could like get awkward at a point, which I'm not an awkward person and I'm hoping I'm not gonna be set up with an awkward person, but who knows. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? One of my really good friends on the baseball team, his girlfriend is Cassie's roommate. And so she obviously told him who I'm going on the blind date with. He ended up giving me a couple like little hints. So then it's like I knew kind of who it was, at least I thought. I knew who it was. And so I think that it actually kind of helped. And it, was, it made it kind of yeah. easier. So since you're the local, you okay. get to show me around. Well, this is Huntington. Yeah. Welcome. Um, there's the beach volleyball courts and the pier. Do I play? Yeah. I actually used to play volleyball competitively. Oh, no way. My first impression of Rob was I thought he was really cute and like, super easy to talk to and like super sweet. All right, so BJ's is what? Just like right up there? Yeah, it's just like straight down the street. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Cassie texted me. Cassie texted you? What'd you say? She said, oh. She said, 
How is it going? We should send her a selfie. Send her a picture of us and just, let's just act like we're having the worst time ever. Okay, should we make a really like grumpy face? Yes. <laughs> Your face. That's a good one. Just like no. Every day I couldn't help but give my heart away. Hey Hannah, you know, if what? you want a tattoo, I can design one for you too. Dude, get one with me. Yeah. I'm, get I'm really right getting now. a tattoo. Why not? Because that is something I mean, I understand like spontaneous fun trips and everything. I'm totally down for that if it's like going to the beach, but not like something permanent on your body. Right. Like I can't. That's and so then not even remember for the rest of your life. But then not even like telling my parents about it That's too. That's the best like, part. I did not want to tell my parents because they do not approve of tattoos. Like my grandfather still thinks that women need to wear skirts slash dresses that are floor length. So that's just the kind of house I come from. Hannah was just trying to be a party pooper and I was trying to have the party continue. I just see this as like a big deal and maybe a bigger deal than you're seeing it, I guess, you know? Like, this is a permanent thing on your body for it to be a spontaneous thing and not even tell your parents about it. I feel like usually just, friends are just like, yeah, yay, let's go. And I I wanted to do that and I wanted to support her, but at the same time, I, I wanted to just show her both sides and just be like, in the process of doing this, you will hurt some of, you, of your family members. Have you thought about that? I don't want to be a predictable tailor anymore, and obviously, like, there are better ways to demonstrate that, but getting a tattoo is something that I have thought about for a while. It's something that I've discussed with my parents. It's just, if I'm never gonna get, like, the courage to do it, might as well do it now, before I lose my courage again, because it is something I wanted to do. I've wanted to do. What better time than college? Right? Yeah. When you're like when you're old enough to know but too young to care. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You're too lazy to come get it yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What up? It's okay. I'm just working right now, and you're taking me away from my job. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it, it's tremendously busy in there on a weekend. I know, but. not really. A new place opened up, so there's like never people in there. What's up, though? What are you doing? I'm trying to study Spanish. I haven't seen Taylor in a minute, and she used to help me with this, and I don't know where I'm at. Are you at waiting now. for her to come? Not today. Oh. Okay, Michelle. I mean, Rob's on a blind date. It's with. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave it away. Yeah. Wait, you said. Okay, anyway, now that you know. Look at that you sent me. Like, what do you Why thumbs that? down? I don't know. They look kind of sad, and I'm like. This is the blind that you set up for them, right? Bad. Wait, you set Rob up with your sister? I know. Do you think they'd go good together? I don't see any reason why they wouldn't go well together. <laughs> why aren't you there? Why aren't you like. Because I'm working, so I can't. I know, I wanted to go spy on them, but so you maybe second no date idea what's we'll happening. go spy on them. <laughs> if, if there is a second date? I think there should be. I don't know, maybe she should have another uh, I'm gonna a second force it first on date. both of them. <laughs> oh, with you? Oh I my mean, gosh, I'm over it. Okay, <laughs> I have to go back to work, but... I mean, I don't know why it's a secret. I don't know I anything. Know. I won't tell Rob you to... I, I don't know. I think he'll probably tell you. I feel like I'll see him tomorrow and he'll tell me anyway, but... <laughs> Alright, bye, Thank see you. you. Okay. This is it. This is it. Right here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Have you done tattoo before? I have not. Yeah. So okay. we're gonna run a problem with this around the beginning Goody. here because of the writing's too small in here. Why don't you go with this one and then put Ephesians 1:5 in the banner right there, but not all the words, but just have that. I don't know if I like it as much. Well, I got there, <laughs> um, and Sid told me that the, the design that I loved the most wasn't gonna work. I was like shocked. I didn't know what to think. I just thought, uh-oh. I hope I don't have to design something in the next five minutes that's gonna last forever. I think it's something like this. It's probably like 20 years later, the words are gonna like kind of blur in together, and then you're okay. not gonna be able to tell exactly what it is. Okay. But if we do it simple here, you can do a fusion place and big here. Okay. The only thing is you'll have to memorize the verse then. <laughs> Have it on command. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm already getting a tattoo. Let's just go for that. Okay. Let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think yeah. it'll, it's going to be way cleaner like this, and okay. it's really cool. I think I like the way he drew the banner and everything. Good for you, Tony. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you did, good. Yeah, you did a good job. You sure did. Okay. So. Came this far, no regrets, no turning back.
I'm getting this tattoo no matter what it looks like. All right. So what do you want it? Do you want it about right here on your back? Um, yeah, like like right here-ish. Right? Okay. Yeah. Kind of in between your shoulder blades? Yeah. I had a tank top on earlier and I don't want it to like go above that just like and like cover it easier. You know what okay. I mean? But like still show it out, whip it out when I want to. Okay. <laughs> we'll put it on and then if you want to... I'm going to... Okay, sorry. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs>relationships for you relationships how many like, relationships have you been in have i been in yeah i i honestly i am not a relationship person i <laughs> really am not i'm i'm a very like picky person i can i i, I just like really i never find anyone that i want to like be with you know what i mean like, like i like, like commit like, to yeah, yeah. so have you been in a relationship before um i was like Kind of for like a year, but like we would just like hang out yeah. and stuff and like act kind of like relationship should be. But like I was all and he he wasn't Christian, so that was a big thing for me. Yeah, being with somebody who's Christian is so important because yeah, for sure it's like the biggest part of your life. Yeah, and it's hard because there's a lot of really cool people who aren't Christian. It's yeah, that's the hardest it's part true. about it, honestly. Yeah. It was really easy to talk to Rob. He was really friendly and just sweet he was like asked me a lot about myself but then like when I asked about him he was like super like he was just honest that's what I liked about Rob he's he seems like just a really honest guy this is like marriage you're gonna be stuck with it oh my gosh make sure it's the right one. Oh my gosh too soon <laughs> what I thought you guys were going to the bridal college <laughs> <laughs> yes, not everyone goes there for that, though. All right, I'm going to do the first line. Are you ready? Ready. All right. That's it. Okay, cool. Once the needle actually hit the skin, I was like, this is it. This is the pain that everyone talks about. Like, this is ridiculous. Everyone's a wimp. Everyone's a baby. And then the longer it went, I was like, oh, man, how long has it been? This is like, it, it's honestly like an endurance race. Imagine that someone's taking like a scalpel and going in your skin. Just the longer it goes, the more it hurts and then you're tired and uh. But once the shading happened, man, the sweet relief. I felt the joy of the Lord. Yeah. I can talk now. This is <laughs> nice. Oh man. A lot better, huh? Yeah, holy, oh that's nice. Okay, it's almost like a massage. <laughs> can I strip? No. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> nope. Cause you're done. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is so great. Oh, okay, cool. After dinner, me and Rob walked down on the boardwalk and then sat and watched the sunset on the beach. Very romantic. Okay, so you asked me before if I'd ever been in a relationship, but I don't know why I didn't ask you back. Mm, that's a fair question, I guess. <laughs> so, I've never been in a relationship before. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, with... Relationships for me has just been like, I just have a really different view on them, I think, in general than most people. What is your view? And I guess I don't date for fun. Mm -hmm. And a, like a lot of people like will get in relationships with no intention of Of moving, a future? Yeah, of really like of a future. And they're just like, I have a lot of fun with this guy or I have a lot of fun with this girl. And like, we just have a great time together. But so I don't know, like I've always just viewed it differently. And I don't know if it's just like, I'm not in a point in my life yet where, you know, I'm like, I don't know if I'm not, ready like I feel yeah. like I am but I don't know I guess you it's also more like like the right wait for the right person to yeah. like, there's no rush like you're saying, I'm picky yeah Just like no but it's saying. good to be picky because I know so many people who aren't and it ends up catching up with them yeah. like yeah you might be happy when I am single but yeah you're not gonna be happy for long no it's true yeah. so yeah I guess that's where I stand in it all it's a good place to stand yeah. no, I agree. <laughs> yeah I agree oh Oh, well, good. So pretty. I know it is. I'm like one of those annoying people on Snapchat who's like a picture of the sunset is, every single day. No, it <laughs> it's is. just so pretty. And it's like things like that, seriously, that 
like just like remind me of like how great our God is and I who know. our God is. Seriously, like, look at nature. Look at the sunset. Look at the sand. The date with her was really great. It was good. I didn't know exactly how it was gonna go. You never know how that stuff's really gonna go. I would totally hang out with her again. Um, and I would like love to get to know her more. And then who knows if that would lead to something else. Oh, dang! Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the shading's done really nicely too. I was kind of worried about that, but that looks great. The heart intertwined with the triangle is actually the symbol for adoption. I really want to be a foster parent slash adopt one day, so, so that way I can tell my kids when, if I have them, that I've been thinking about them for a really long time. Oh, jeez. It is it is finished. In the word of Jesus. <laughs> it is finished. It's all you ready for your next one now? Oh, when? It was a lot bigger than I thought. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It was so much bigger than I thought, slash than I was comfortable with. It wasn't until later that I realized, like, oh my gosh, for people's first tattoos, they get, like, puny little crosses on their ankle. But no, I went huge. I went giant on my back. Hey, you can call your mom down. <laughs> you didn't. Or better yet, you can just send a picture to your mom. Don't I feel even sick to anything. my stomach. Oh my gosh. <laughs> your date go? I feel like you've been avoiding me. I know, yeah. <laughs> People keep asking me and every single time I like walk away. I um, set up my sister because, um, well, I don't know how Rob is on dates, so <laughs> hopefully what I'm saying is valid, but um, I just wanted her to get a feel of what a good Christian guy is like and hopefully what she wants to be looking for in someone. He's really nice. He was really sweet and fun. He's fun. Um, <laughs> I feel like you're struggling. I just don't know the words. Like, I think he's just on like a whole different level than me right now. You know what I mean? Like he's looking for something more yeah. than you're looking for? Yeah, at one point he was like, I like, one thing that like affects me is like dating for like fun, like his friends date for fun and he doesn't understand, like he just doesn't like agree with that and stuff. What'd you say? I didn't say anything, I, I just, just went like, along with it. I was like, uh... yeah, same. <laughs> but like, I don't know, I don't find a problem with dating for fun. I think like when you're getting to know someone, it's not like weird, you know what I mean? Like, like you, you don't wanna jump fun. into something if yeah, you like, don't know. Them. You should either have been like really good friends and then start dating or like just date for fun, like casually and stuff. Yeah. I know you guys are so different with your opinions on dating and whatnot, mm -hmm. but I mean, he did text you, and if he did text you again, would you, would you want to go out again? Or... Hello? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Taylor. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. So, uh, did you get the picture that I sent you by any chance? Yes, I did get it. So, what'd you think about it? I don't know, Taylor, is that real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's as real as the hair on my head. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel. I don't know if I'm sad, I'm disappointed. I don't know. That was not- Why did you tell me?